the law of attraction. Do you guys believe in the law of attraction? <laughs> do you believe you can attract things into your life? Well, I definitely do, but I think there's a lot of misinterpretations on the law of attraction. It's very um, I I actually don't like the word law of attraction. I think it's I think it's a buzzword. Is that a buzzword? You know, um, there's a lot of books that sort of talk about this idea that what you think about is what you attract to your life. And uh, the way I think about it is a little different than that, but the idea, the outcome is basically the same. And there's a lot, I actually, I was looking on YouTube and there's a lot of channels that talk about this topic. Um, and they have very catchy titles and they're like, this is how you hack your reality and this is how you do this and that. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with writing a catchy title. But the one thing that all these videos fail to do is that they fail to mention that it's uh, like you have to take action towards whatever it is that you want, you know, like, yes, obviously visualize yourself in the situation you want to be in, like focus on what you desire out of life, focus on the end outcome, but you still have to take action. So some examples from my own life is that I wanted to work at a very specific company and what I would do is like I kind of unintentionally did this sort of but I, but I would joke around with my friends I was like yeah I'm gonna go get a job there I'm gonna you know do this do that I would joke with my parents I'm gonna go get a job here because I thought it would be fun and I thought it was very very much possible I believed it was possible to work where I wanted to work and you know I did end up working for this company and it did end up being fun, or at least I have fun, right? But the thing is, is I still had to put in an application. I still had to show up to the interviews, you know what I mean? Um, and the thing is, is that like, the company I work for is kind of, it's sort of known for not being the easiest place to get into. Like there's literally tutorials on YouTube about how to work at the company I work at. And the people in the comments are like, oh, I never got called back or like my brother said his friend tried applying there and that like they said to come in and then they never they didn't even interview him you know whereas I literally just put in an application and the next day they like called me in for an interview and then that week I was hired you know what I mean so like <clears throat> I think the law of attraction affects what people would call luck you know I would consider that an extremely lucky situation because when I had asked them, I had told them that like, hey, you know, I put in my application like yesterday and you guys already called me and they're like, oh, you did? So some people will say, oh, that's just coincidence. That's just good timing. But it's like, how would my application show up at the top if they, you know, are looking? Oh, another thing, the, uh, the company I work at, I wanted to try switching departments because I was just curious about trying different things in the company. And most of the people I work with, they say it was, or their experience was it was very difficult for them to switch departments. Like they had to work there for a year before they could even switch. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like if someone tells you something like that, you can't really, you can't let their experience dictate your expectations. You know what I mean? So what I did was I kind of visualized myself working in the specific department that I wanted Maybe, I don't even know. I don't even really visualize things. I more so just feel that they're possible. You know what I mean? So I kind of felt myself working in this department like kind of throughout the day. I didn't really focus on it too much. And uh, one night I was working the night shift and I talked to the assistant manager for that department. And I talked to him, I was like, hey man, you know, are you guys looking for anybody? And he's like, no, not really. You know, we're actually kind of cutting hours. And for most people, if they hear something like that, like kind of like a no or a, I guess a rejection, they'll just kind of leave it at that and be like, okay, and they'll accept their fate. But not me. Like, I'm, stu <laughs> I'm stubborn. Like, I don't care. If uh, someone says, if I get like a rejection or something like that, I don't really, I don't care. I don't internalize it. I'm just like, okay, whatever. Um, and literally, you know, I didn't really think about I didn't really think about the possibility of it not happening. I still very much thought of it as possible, right? So later on that week, 
or literally, I think it was the next week. Um, I was just working. I was actually having a really good day. Like I was on it. I was in my bag <laughs> and I ran into him again. I was like, Hey man, you know, how you doing? We're just chatting it up. And, uh, I don't know. This is actually an interesting detail as I found out that him and my other friend actually know each other. So I was talking to him about that. <clears throat> and, uh, we were talking about how we knew this mutual friend and then at the end of the conversation he's like oh yeah by the way nick we actually we actually are looking for someone for our department so i don't know if it was just me like you know bringing up that we had a mutual friend or if it was literally like they actually had an opening you know what i mean so yeah i uh i felt like i attracted that to my life as well and he was just the assistant manager so he didn't really have like power to determine if I could get picked for that thing but he's like you know what I'll talk to the manager for you and see if I can get you in I was like awesome thanks man so I didn't really think about it and I didn't really I never force things either like I never force situations so I didn't go up and talk to the manager myself you know and a couple days went or literally I think a day or two went by and then the uh <clears throat> the just the uh, department manager came up to me. He's like, hey, Nick, I heard, you know, so-and-so told me that you wanted to come in and uh, work at the department. I was like, yeah, man. He's like, okay, cool. And he's asking me about my availability. And I was like, okay, whatever. <clears throat> told him all that. And he's like, okay, cool. Shook his hand. We went our separate ways because I think I was he was clocking out and I was going on break. So, you know, the department, we don't really see the department managers too often. So it was kind of interesting to run into him. And, uh, that went that happened and then i think it was the next week because i had a few days off and my one of my supervisors came up to me he's like she's like nick are you leaving us and i was like what because i had not told anybody other than the managers that i wanted to switch over i hadn't even told my own department manager i wanted to switch over so and she was like you know i put in a really good word for you because i hustle like when i'm at work i'm hustling i'm not <laughs> so you know it's like it's interesting that like me working hard in my own department, the department that I don't even want to work in, how that translated into me being moved over to something that I do want to work in. You know what I mean? Like that effort I put in didn't get wasted. And that's, that's like a whole other, I guess, lesson. You know what I mean? This video is kind of all over the place, but what's interesting is that my supervisor was actually friends with that department manager, you know? And it was just incredible. Like, how the heck, what are the chances that, and she really likes me as a person because she knows that I work hard. She knows that I'm really good with customers. And she was just like, she really gave me a good, you know, she gave me a good, like, rapport, or good feedback, you know. So the law of attraction really does it it basically moves luck towards your side you know what i mean that's all it really does um as if that's not a lot you know but you still have to take action i guess that's all i'm really trying to say you still have to take action towards your goal but if you believe that it's possible if you have a very specific goal that you want it is um it's entirely possible and you have all the the luck in the world to bring it about